well if you're going to use a software we should at least know who made that software and since it is open source for me it becomes even more important to specify those things so let's just go through the history of blender so blender basically was designed by Don Rosendahl this is his photo from Wikipedia this is a photo of uh, 2018 so long time back in January 1995 Don was working for a company called as NeoGeo where uh, they wanted to develop a software in-house 3d animation and modeling software this was where the blender thing actually started now in between the company was overtaken by some other people or some other company and uh, somehow uh, it seemed that blender development would not take place so back in uh, 98 uh, when new geo was taken over by other companies ton decided ton and frank one of his friends decided that they would continue development of blender and they started a company called as NAND technologies not a number technologies it seems to be a fun name taken from the programming concepts and so on so here uh, what happened was that uh, business model that was being used seems did not generate enough of revenues or whatever was there so the investors decided not to go ahead with the further development of blender but these people wanted to go ahead with that so when the company decided not to further go ahead with the investment and all in NAND technologies Ton decided that they should make blender open source and they had a discussion with the company that uh, they agreed upon an amount of 100,000 euros at that time back in July 2002 and uh, once this fund would be collected blender would be released as open source software so very interestingly with crowdfunding within you can see july august september september 7th it was declared that they have collected enough of amount required for making blender open source and within this july august september within three months or less than three months the fund was raised and in october 2002 13th October 2002 blender was released under the GNU GPL license so you can see how long uh, blender has come along as an open source software since 2002 now some people have this concept blender is open source and uh, free software and so on and they have a, they just keep an assumption whether it is good or not so I would recommend you to watch two movies one is called as the big buck bunny movie which was released back in 2008 movie was made with blender of course and so let's just have a look at big bunny movie you can you can watch it on YouTube so this is the big buck bunny movie this was made back in 2008 this is one of the things that you can watch to get an idea another recently released movie is called as the charge this also you can watch on uh, YouTube do have a look at these two movies to get an idea how far blender has developed there is a making of this movie also so you can have a look at that so uh, saying that that's the small history of blender of course a lot of things might have happened lot of other people have put their efforts so just keep in mind that these people have spent their time efforts and other things and they have kept blender open source it's a powerful software use it enjoy it have fun thanks